this series, we have briefly discussed the evolution and history of Scrooge McDuck, right from his first appearance in comics in 1947 up until today. What we have yet to cover, however, is the evolution of the character's voice, given life by a surprisingly large number of voice artists over the years. Debuting in a printed medium, Scrooge didn't receive his voice immediately, unless you count the proto-Scrooge that appeared in 1943 Donald Short, The Spirit of 43, that preceded his first comics appearance by four years. Scrooge himself, however, wouldn't receive vocalization until 1960, when he was voiced by vocal artist Dallas McKinnon on the Disneyland Records album Donald Duck and His Friends. It would be a further seven years until Scrooge made the leap to animation in 1967 educational short Scrooge McDuck and Money, in which he would be voiced by Bill Thompson, best known as the voices of Mr. Smee in Peter Pan, Jock in Lady and the Tramp, and White Rabbit in Alice in Wonderland. Actor Alan Young, a member of a Charles Dickens society, would first voice Scrooge on the 1974 Disneyland Records album, an adaptation of Dickens' A Christmas Carol, which he also wrote. Almost a decade later, he would take on the role in the animated short version of the album, Mickey's Christmas Carol, in 1983. From then on, Young was named the official voice actor of Scrooge McDuck and continued to voice him in most films and media, including the iconic DuckTales series, until his death in 2016. During and after Young's tenure, a small number of other artists have taken on the role in both smaller and some more significant appearances. Most notably, actor David Tennant, who currently voices him in the DuckTales reboot series. In this special companion video, we will explore all of the voice artists who have brought Scrooge to life in major productions, including shorts, theatrical films, albums, and video games. Without further comment from myself, I will allow the voice artists to guide you through Scrooge McDuck voice evolution in this edition of Explaining Disney. Wait a bit, laddie. You're going to save a bit of that, aren't you? But you don't want to forget our fighting men, do you? Yeah, sure. Then you'll have to start saving right away to meet your tax payments. Aye, laddie. It's your dough. But it's your war, too. You must save for victory. Hello, Donald! Why, why are you working, Scrooge? I didn't know you were coming to my party. Why not, my boy? It is free. Besides, I feel in a party mood. I just thought of a place to put my money where the Beagle Boys will never find it. I got to get my money loaded onto this gold darn rocket and get it to the moon. Tis not safe around here with them thieving Beagle Boys robbing the earth. Well, saving is the first important step, no doubt. But money is something you should learn more about. Aye. It only means household management. It's from an old Greek word. Household management, that's budgeting, dear Ken. If I sat on my money, I might just as well be stranded on a desert island for all the good to do me. I couldn't eat it, couldn't wear it, couldn't use it. Ooh, I can't bear it. Oh, nephew, what do you want? Merry Christmas, that good strange. Humbug, I say. Bah! Humbug. Well, clutch it. Good morning, Mr. Scrooge. Good morning, indeed. You're 18 minutes late. I'm going to give you a raise. Let it be said that no one will ever keep Christmas as well as Ebenezer Scrooge. Money, money, money. Merry Christmas! What's so merry about it? I'll tell you what Christmas is. It's just another work day, and any jack and apes who thinks else should be boiled in his own pudding. I say bah. Humbug. Christmas day indeed. Just another excuse for being lazy. And another thing, Cratchit. I've had enough of this half day off stuff. You leave me no alternative <laughs> but to give you toys. Yes, toys. No, 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 no. I'm giving you a raise and making you my partner. So, what can I do for you boys? We're helping with the city sports program. Sports? Couple idea. You mean you'll support our program? Of course I'll support you. Great! It'll hardly cost you anything. <coughs> cost? What do you mean by cost? Oh, all our supporters are donating something. You only have to buy a trophy for the soccer tournament. See? A dollar forty-nine! When I said support, I thought you meant 
moral support, uh, cheering, pom-poms, uh, that sort of thing. There's your two dollars, you mercenary. Hey, what about my tip? Here, chew on this. <clears throat> Donald, you can't be serious about this crazy idea. There's no profit in it. Well, here we are. Home sweet home. Ah, Duckworth. Carry the suitcases up to the room we prepared. I did it, boys. I'm still number one. Now, let's see our prize. Bless me, guilt. There's at least three tons of gold. I won, Flintheart. You all has been. <laughs> Heavenly Heather. The genie in the magic lamp. The fortunes I could own. I could have the world's biggest diamond. No, the world's biggest diamond mine. No, no. All the diamond mines! No, the entire mining industry! Yes, yes, yes! I wish for the treasure of Kali Baba. <laughs> the bonnie bounty is mine again. Wait till those old fossils at the society hear this news. You're late. Sorry. Do I still get my money? <laughs> We'll see, won't we? <laughs> For as the executor of your great uncle's will, it is my responsibility to carry out his instructions and bequeath to you his fortune. That is, only if I deem you to be a trustworthy, hard-working, and punctual member of society in marriage to my nephew, Donald. But she refuses to marry him. I don't love Donald. I love Mickey. Love? Bah! Minnie was promised to Donald. Unless he cancels it, it's a binding contract. What is the worst that may befall me if I refuse to wed Donald? The law of Athens is very clear. Either you agree to marry Donald, or you must be put to death. Merry Christmas indeed. I want some carols, Uncle Scrooge. My boys, it's like you can read my mind. Don't think I don't see what you're doing. You thought you'd give me a taste of my own medicine, huh? Well, I love the taste of my own medicine, especially when it's free. Keep up the good work, my boy. You're saving me a mint. Oh, no. You folks are in for a rare treat. Something never before seen on this stage. Here it is. Me lucky dime. It's the first dime I ever made. <laughs> Isn't it lovely? A true thing of beauty. Boys, I want to tell you something important. Then you made us more cookies? Listen. I don't want you three to make the same selfish choices that I made when I was your age. But you turned out rich! Rich because I was selfish. We want to be rich and selfish too! Ugh! There's more to life than just money. Ugh! Not the Beagle Boys again. If they think they can stand between Scrooge McDuck and his three cubic acres of cash, they've got another thing coming. Well, pluck me pin feathers. It looks like some kind of secret code. Boys! Boys! What did you find, Uncle Scrooge? I'm not sure, but I know how to find it out. I'll feed it into my supercomputer and use Gyro's new crypto analysis program. Then we'll know what the Beagle Boys were after. <laughs> Stand back, lads. Ah, oh, so nice of you all to visit. Now, what can I do for my favorite nephew? Can I borrow five dollars? <laughs> oh, my! Five plus interest. I remember it as if it was yesterday. My papa took me to see the ancestral home of our clan, the desolate castle on dismal downs, abandoned since the 17th century. In this sight of former glory, this is where I begin my story. Ah, there she is. Hey. Are you guys ready to hit the beach? Daisy's right. And in the meantime, we'll just have to have the greatest migration ever! Donald Duck. I'm Doug Scrooge. Still living on that boat? Yep. So... Jettison that jalopy from my driveway this instant, your dead beat! Moldy old codger says I don't care about family. He walked whiskers, but who loved whiskers? <gasps> Secret passage in the hallway. Nice try, Daddy. Everything looks the same in this blasted place. They try to trap you here, so you'll spend all your time and money on cheap thrills. But we're better than that. Bless me, bagpipes. My money! 
me beautiful money! <laughs> oh, hello, Sora. You're looking hale and hearty. I heard you were on another grand adventure with these two. I hope Donald isn't making a menace of himself. Uh, why did you have to say that? If this is your first time viewing one of my videos, you like what you've seen, you'd like to see more like this in the future, then please don't forget to hit that big old subscribe button up on your screen right now, and also hit that like button down below if you're feeling extra generous. Also, don't forget to check out my many social media accounts, and please consider supporting me over on Patreon. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you have a wonderful day.